Do you want to talk a little bit about how to use the Photos app in iOS, which uh, would either be with your iPad or your iPhone? I'm using an iPad. It's going to be easier for you to see what I'm doing here. Normally, an iPad will probably be a little easier to use with Photos app just because the images are bigger. So what I'm going to do here, I've opened up and I've got it in the Photos section here, which is the far left and will show all of the pictures that you have on your phone uh, or on your iPad. Now you can control the size of these images that are popping up on a page by hitting the negative sign if you want to get more on a page or hitting the plus sign if you want them bigger. Uh, I'm normally going to work with something about probably this size for this class that we're doing. Now one of the things you might want to be able to do is some sorting and getting your pictures in various albums. So one way you can do that, let's just go ahead, I'm going to pick a couple pictures here. First of all you hit the select button and then you go ahead and click on the ones that you want to select. And I'm not going to take a bunch there. I think I'll just take those two pictures and we're going to go down here on the lower left. There's a, a little box with an arrow that's pointing up. You want to get on that and, and uh, go ahead and go to Add to Album. And then here, I, don't, I have a number of albums in here already, but I do not have an album with this person that I've just highlighted. So I'm going to type in his name. And it's Lucas. And now those pictures are in that folder. So if we went back here and looked at albums and looked at Lucas, we'll see those two pictures. If for some reason or another that you need to get rid of an album, maybe there's pictures in there that you don't need anymore or whatsoever, you can go ahead and when you're in the album section here where it says my albums which would be this icon down on the bottom here that, that where my finger is pointed I guess you can't hardly see that album I get we'll move that a little bit uh, you can click on see all and hit edit and then in edit you've got all these little minus signs here that you if you push on the minus sign uh, you will, I'm going to click on this one here, it says Cosmo, and just click the minus sign. It asks, would you like to delete? I'm going to delete that one because I don't need that particular one. I have other pictures of him. So, uh, again, you can go through the whole works, and if you decide you have too many albums and you want to get rid of some of them, you can get rid of them. We'll click Done. Go back to the photo section here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an image. Uh, let's go ahead with this one. Let's say you want to edit this image. You click on edit and we probably want to crop this. We just want to get one person in here. So we click on the crop and then you just slide your finger over on both sides here and crop whatever you want. And if you like that you leave it and yeah, the crop will come up. Uh, we click done on that if all you need is a crop. Now the program will remember the original so if you need to go back to it there's an option to revert back to it and it says revert so we can go right back here revert to the original and now you have the entire image again. One of the situations that come up quite often you'll take pictures outside or something where the sky is fairly bright and you end up with an image like this one here which I'm going to open up where the person in the foreground that you wanted to see is basically in a shade and in, in, in almost forming a silhouette. So there's a way to deal with that. You can go to the edit function and right in here you have different things you can click on. One of these will just do an overall improvement on the image which didn't have any effect. This one here where I clicked on, the second one down, is says exposure. So we can open the exposure a little bit. We still haven't really brought the person up very well. We go to the next one, which is brilliance. The next one, which is highlights. Now the highlights, if you wanted to bring them down a little, you could. So you can get those clouds to show up a little better. You can go over to shadows now. This is where we would find 
a way to get this to lighten up so we go all the way oops this got to go in the right direction so that will show the person a little better now it's not a very good photograph but just to show you that you do have that opportunity contrast difference probably will not be too important on this shot because you've already got pretty well bumped it up uh, brightness and so on we don't need to do anything that with black point you have all these options in here now if you have a picture that needs a little bit more we usually suggest vibrance if you want to add a little more color we can see that we're adding more color to the sky if you need to tint this in one direction or another if your color is off you can go ahead and do that uh, if you have a situation where an image isn't quite as sharp as you want you can sharpen it up a little bit you don't want to overdo that because it will normally make it grainy uh, noise reduction or well I use the term grain but noise is really what we're talking about noise can be cut back on an image that normally is shot in real low light you might have a lot of noise you can take that out and then vignette if you wanted to take this and just you know, uh, lighten the edges or darken the edges you could do that uh, then we'll just click done might go back here and just reiterate what we're doing by going to a different type of image here this is an image that got flared pretty bad because the sunlight was hitting it so let's just go in here and see what we can do with that so we go ahead and hit edit hit auto now auto already brought back quite a bit of that image exposure we can lower uh, the exposure or brighten it the brilliance levels here we probably we're trying to get a little darker in that in a shadow area uh, highlights could be maybe a little smaller or a little lower excuse me we'd get a little more blue in the sky shadows actually you know they all got flared out so we'd probably just darken them contrast again you can play with that here we get a little bit more bump in the contrast could be a little too contrasty again it's just a matter of your own preferences brightness is okay black point we don't really need to worry about a black point on this one but it, uh, saturation this looks pretty saturated ready if you check the vibrance you can go back and forth here but you don't want to overdo the vibrance those oranges will just blow right out if you want to warm the image up a little or cool it down you probably just put it right about there uh, a lot of pictures that are taken in the shade are going to come out bluish so you'll probably have to warm them up in this program okay we don't have to change the tint the sharpness again maybe a little bit but not much most of the pictures taken with an iPhone are pretty sharp and we don't need to take any noise out and the vignette again if you want to vignette the edges a little bit we click done and uh, our finished image definitely is an improvement over what we had before so that kind of wraps up what you want to do with the editing and you should take advantage of this because it's actually improved quite a bit with the latest iOS updates okay one last thing we uh, also have a search option in this program which can be real handy so if you click on search up here you can type in things what we're going to just do is type in something like cats and here we have see all we got four cat photos there we click on see all and you can see all of them there then you can open up whichever one you want this is kind of a cute one that somebody had posted on the internet now the program will actually be able to identify certain things you know, even certain locations if you put down probably the uh, Golden Gate Bridge if you had a picture of that it'd probably bring it up uh, in other situ situations if you're working with a search if you've already entered some albums and you've identified the person by the name for example I've got mine in here and you can see that there's pictures of me that are popping up on here uh, I'm not going to open them all it does tend to pick pictures sometimes that include somebody that you didn't expect but once you've identified the person by name if you type their name in you will get most of this we can go ahead and click see all and uh, 
uh, some of these are kind of special images that were done with special uh, software, so they might not look like a real photograph. Anyway, I think we probably covered pretty much what the Photos app can do. Uh, I'll go ahead and stop at this point. If anybody has any questions, they can always email us, and we'll go ahead and uh, return the email with an answer. Uh, everybody have a good day.